Well, first of all, I think he had um, probably one of the most amazing senses of humor I know um, from any politicians. Uh, he was uh, truly uh, someone who uh, cared about human rights and liberty uh, in ways that generally you don't see among politicians for whom they're willing to sort of say the right words, but but rarely evince the kind of interest that he had and the knowledge that he had about uh, issues around the world. Uh, you mentioned Eastern Europe, but I know that uh, Senator McCain was deeply involved with issues of liberty and human rights uh, throughout the world and uh, really stood out as um, a major figure, not only in U.S. politics, but I would say um, throughout the liberal democratic world as being willing to stand up for issues when other, other politicians prefer to sidestep them. I think we have a photo uh, of the two of you uh, working together during your time uh, during your time working together. There we go. Uh, you've written, of course, about about wanting to continue in the same spirit as McCain when it comes to helping other former Soviet uh, states. How do you view uh, Senator McCain's legacy in this in this uh, area? Well, clearly he is uh, he has given hope to uh, millions of people, uh, be they in Georgia or Ukraine and. Well, 25 years ago, 20, 30 years ago, to uh, my country and people living there, where his very strong uh, defense of uh, uh, our independence uh, and our right to choose was uh, important for so many people in uh, Estonia, Latvia, and Lithuania, and more importantly, not only his words, but uh, his actions when uh, after our independence. Uh, Russian troops remained in our countries and were, were not really very eager to leave. Uh, John McCain was one of those who pushed very hard for it uh, in the U.S. when uh, also in the U.S. not everyone wanted to offend Boris Yeltsin by dealing with trifling states like ours. Well, you mentioned there's people who weren't necessarily uh, for McCain's uh, policies. And, and amid the tributes, there are critics of the, of the senator, uh, voices uh, objecting to his, uh, his support for the Iraq war, for example, uh, people saying that his calls for military solutions on U.S. foreign policy challenges might have gone, uh, been a little bit more aggressive. Uh, do you accept, as a liberal yourself, that McCain did espouse quite hard-line foreign policies? Well, he himself later on uh, said that uh, he had come to regret some of those positions. I think that, um, I mean, he uh, he embodied uh, kind of the uh, the the true uh, sort of thinking politician. Uh, after all, it was John Maynard Keynes who said, "When I learn new facts, I change my mind." He was. He was, in a sense, uh, the epitome of uh, that view of things. He learned new things, changed his mind, regretted that he had taken earlier positions. I think that in itself is an indication of the courage that he had, which was to admit that he had made mistakes. Uh, so I, I really don't see that as a, as a major issue.